Hello there, it's finally May and that means a load of Star Wars sets are coming out today. And before we get into the sets, if you haven't seen the seven gift with purchases that are coming out, definitely give yesterday's video a watch. I will include it in the end screen so you can watch it after this video. But let's get straight to the Lego sets. Because for this month, I've been smart about it. I'm not going to be talking about sets that are actually coming out in June or later on. There are two sets that are coming out a bit later, the Milky Way Galaxy and the Artemis Space Launch System. They will be coming out later on in May, so they aren't available today, but they will be. I think it's about two weeks. I'll leave the dates on screen when I'm talking about them. But for this video, I've actually created a list of all the 15 sets coming out in May. Well, there's one bundle of old sets, but if you did want to pick up all 15 this month and I'm sure you could probably pre-order both of these some point soon. It will set you back a total of £900, which is definitely not a little bit of money. And I'd say probably only half of that is Star Wars sets. So let's get straight into it with the UCS TIE Interceptor. Personally, it's not for me. I prefer more minifigure scale ships. I don't remember how I got this down last time. So as I was saying, I prefer more minifigure scale ships and this is a minifigure scale interceptor. This model isn't my own and was actually built using the 2019 TIE Fighter, which itself was a bit smaller than minifigure scale. But I really do like this model and I like how small it is. It's so easy just to swoosh around if you do want to play with it. It's quite nice to display on your shelf and personally the UCS sets just a little bit too big for me so i will not be picking up the ucs tie interceptor i just really don't have the space for it but a set i do want to eventually pick up i'll be leaving that on the desk for now is the clone commander cody now this is the first order 66 set we are getting in lego which amazes me i can't believe we haven't had another order 66 set there are definitely sets that allude to order 66 like the ATTE Walker that comes with Commander Cody as well as a few other 212. This time they are 212 troopers, but we've never had an actual reference to Order 66. And if we are to take a closer look at Commander Cody, you might see in his right hand, this is definitely a better image, the puck with Palpatine, the hologram of Palpatine telling Commander Cody to execute Order 66 on General Kenobi, on Uta Pal, and I just think it is great that they have given us that little reference of that Order 66 for a clone trooper. They could have definitely just included his blaster, which he is holding in his other hand or some other weapon for Cody to have. And I'd definitely like to see a Rex in Brickhead to go along with Cody. We got them both in the helmet line. We have them both in minifigure form. And I definitely think Rex is due a Brickhead. So hopefully we get Rex in a Brickhead's form. Otherwise... I'll probably end up trying to mock this one, change the colours, get rid of the visor and try and add a viewfinder instead. So stick around if you would like to see Rex built using Cody's brick heads. It's not the only brick heads we have. We do have these ones from The Phantom Menace. Of course, 25 years of The Phantom Menace this year. And I don't think we've had enough sets from it. Now, there are a few here. So far, the only thing we've got is an AAT poly bag, which I have reviewed back in my January poly bag completion, where I reviewed every single poly bag that came out at that time. Panica is included in the six. We'll get to him before the others, because I definitely think he could have been a Kenobi, or even if they didn't want to include Kenobi, because let's be honest, Kenobi doesn't play too big a role in Phantom Menace, not compared to the rest of the saga. We definitely could have got a handmaiden, because... This is a Queen Amidala Brickhead. We don't know that's necessarily Padme. We could have got Padme in the outfit she wears on Tatooine, which we already have a minifigure for, or we could have just got a handmaiden Padme, which we don't have a minifigure for, and definitely need to be getting some of these Padme costumes, especially for the anniversary of Phantom Menace. Now, it is also the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, so as well as some Padme costumes, Order 66 sets, I think we'll definitely be getting a lot more. So this is sort of the build up for next year. But as far as the other Brickheads are concerned, Annie, Jar Jar, Maul and Qui-Gon have absolutely nailed it. And I like that for these, they haven't gone too ham on printed pieces. Of course, no stickers included. They've only given us the printed torso for Qui-Gon. You can definitely try to buy a second one, £50. 
might be a bit expensive to buy too, but you could definitely buy a second and use that for a custom Kenobi. As for Maul, the face tattoos really can't be represented for build. I originally was going to try and build a Clone Wars Maul in Brickhead's form, and if I ever do, this will definitely be the set I'll need to pick up. But of course, Lego beat me to it and built eight more brick heads, but the robe and everything else, even the horns on his heads, are all built using non-printed Lego pieces, which is very nice to see. Of course, they've released brick heads like Spider-Man, which is basically just a few printed tiles in a square, and I'm not a fan of that. But the limited printing here for Jar Jar's torso, I don't think Panica has any printing whatsoever, and I I think that's also true for Anakin and then of course Amidala not only has the blush for her cheeks but also has the front of her dress printed in a nice it looks like it's a two by three angled tile which comes to a point and if so that would be very nice but there are two non well there are a few more Star Wars sets there's two really big non Star Wars sets coming out first off the Artemis space launch system which I will get up just so you can see when it comes out. 18th of May, £220, pricey, but it does include 3,601 pieces. So you are getting a big build for that. I'm not interested in rockets really at all outside of Star Wars. If it's a spaceship, I'm not too interested. But I do like the fact that it comes with a bunch of accessories, including this little satellite and it's just a few extra pieces to display alongside it. And of course, you also get the plaque that you've just seen. Now, the other set is part of the art wave, the Lego art, as you can see on the right. And it is a Lego exclusive, which means you probably can only pick this up at a Lego store. And there are, I think, six instructions. I have seen someone talking about this already. And I believe the frame is an instruction in itself. So... You can't build it with six people unless you want to just give someone the frame and the other five of you build the fun parts. But you can definitely build this with the family. And if there are a bunch of you that want this set, I guess you're splitting £170 between the five or six of you. That works out about £30, £35 each, which for this set is really, really good value. So if you are able to break down that price between a few of you, it's quite good value, but £170, I guess you're getting all the pieces that you pay for. Speaking of, the actual front of it is very, very nice. It reminds me of Greebling you'll see on a giant Star Wars set, and that is just to break up quite plain designs. Normally, the side of a ship that is all grey will have a lot of Greebling on, but they've not only done this, they've also exploded with a load of new colours that... A few of these I'm pretty sure they've only just released. And there are some really nice translucent dishes throughout. Star clusters are represented. There's a few other Easter eggs which I won't spoil. If you do want to find out, definitely pick up this set. And there's even on the front, just there, you can't make it out, but there's a little You Are Here panel which shows where we are in the universe, which is a really nice art set. And I think this is up there with the world map. But back to the Star Wars releases, we have Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator. Now, I did get a comment asking me to build the Dagger Vessel from the Bad Batch. And though I will be building it, I probably won't be building it too soon because I do want to make a mock of this set, turning it into the Dagger Vessel from Bad Batch. They're such similar sets. Perhaps it's not quite as minifigure scout as I'd like it to be. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns up. But it reminds me so much of Maul Skimitar and I really, really do like the ship. So I'll definitely be picking up one in the future. Hopefully towards the end of the year, it goes on sale and I can pick it up about £40. Around the same price that the TIE Bomber is currently at. Because I think that was also around the £60 mark at retail. With the exception of the next set, if we do hit 1000 by May 4th, at this point, we are about 20, 25 subs away. I don't expect to pick up any sets because like I've said with the Sith Infiltrator, these will be reduced towards the end of the year. And unless you go in for them gift with purchases, I'd recommend just wait until Black Friday or perhaps some other sales. Amazon are quite good on sales at the minute. I'll be sure to whack up links for any of these sets on Amazon if you do not mind about missing out with the GWPs. And that goes for every year. It's always better to not buy Lego Star Wars at May 4th because there's always going to be something to try and tempt you to pay full price or even elsewhere. They'll have a little 5% off, which might look good for some of the bigger sets, but I've seen quite a few of them larger sets. 
20, 25% off around Christmas time. And unless you're seeing them size deals right now, I definitely suggest holding off purchasing any. But speaking of the next set, the Bark Speeder Escape, I did promise I would pick this up to review if we hit a K by May 4th. I'm not too big a fan of this set, not just because of the useless stickers like the fighter tank, because I actually turned out to really, really like the Republic fighter tank. But I just think for what you're paying to get a Bark Speeder and a lamp, it just doesn't come across very, very, very well. But I've got a whole video explaining why I don't like it. Today I'm going to talk about the parts that I do like because it's not a completely bad set. First off, the Keller and Beck minifigure is really, really cool. I did definitely expect them to just add a bit of gold to Mace Windu's torso and try and release that as a new figure because LEGO definitely tries to cut as many corners as it can. And that's not to say they make a bad job at it. It's just so they can put their effort into other places. But they've actually gone all in with this Keller and Beck minifigure. I can get a better image for you. You can see there is a brand new headpiece. Of course, that was expected. But there's also a brand new torso and legs. The printing doesn't really resemble Mace Windows at all. They've completely redesigned this minifigure. The same base color for the robes. And I think it's similar to the robes that are under Ki Adi Mundi sort of jacket. So we've got three very similar Jedi. And they honestly couldn't have been much different in Lego. Unless they ended up making them some weird and wacky colors. But Keller and Beck does have his gold printing not only on the front of his robes. But also on the back, again, as I said, completely different printing, a different belt to Mace Windu's torso even. And we will probably be taking a closer look at this in a few days. But something they don't include in any of these promotional images is actually the fact that the 501st clones also fit on the speeder bike. You can see as they've popped off Grogu, there is two studs there and perhaps it is not as size accurate as they would like. So it might look a bit weird with the 501st clones on it. And if you do want a more minifigure scale accurate build, you can definitely head over to Rebrickable and take a look at mine because I've built this to scale with a minifigure, a minifigure representing about 180 centimeters, which to be fair is roughly the size of the clone trooper anyway. And the clones definitely look a bit better on it, but I will be making a comparison to that if I do end up picking this set up. And it's not a terrible set. It's just probably not the best that Lego could do. Now we also have some key rings. Palpatine with his new eyes and Luke with his arm printing. The legs for the UCS X-Wing Luke are amazing. Of course they did come out next year. Hopefully in a year's time we can get it in a cheaper set. Perhaps the next X-Wing that they release. Because I don't think there's a small X-Wing and tie on the market at the minute. So as well as the Falcon from yesterday's video. I would also like an X-Wing and tie by the end of the year. Perhaps for a January 1st release. Or if they are saving it to May. That would also be quite handy. But with the CMFs, we've also got lines such as Dreams, such as Monkey Kid. We're getting printed arms. We're getting dual molded and side of the leg printing on the legs. And it's coming out quite cheaply. I mean, £3.50 for some of these CMFs. And you can actually now pick the ones you want using the barcode scanning technique. And I definitely think Star Wars fans would appreciate some, not just arm printing, but these dual molded legs as well. Marvel are getting them. <coughs> Ooh. Marvel are getting them for characters such as Miles Morales to represent boots and other leg accessories and especially for the X-Wing characters. The full orange jumpsuit does look cool but you're definitely missing them black boots that do come up halfway up the leg. So I definitely would like to see Luke in a cheaper set but the final Star Wars set Coming out today, May 1st, 2024, is the Moss Esper Pod Race Diorama. Now, I'm sure opinion on this is going to be mixed because there are no minifigures. And that by itself is enough to turn most people away from this set. But I would urge you to take a second look because some of the detail on this set is really, really cool. Now, it's going to take a while to load. But when it does eventually, we can see that the canyon they have built around these two sort of micro i guess they're the midi scale of pod racers which tend to be quite small anyway and i definitely would have preferred an anakin and sebulba just to display alongside it or at least a new sebulba mold but the use of all the slope pieces the curve pieces the arches really does make this stand out from just something that was put together over a few minutes i really do like the style of this diorama you are getting the 25 years of lego star wars brick Personally, I think that should have been a 25 years of a new hope brick. Similar to the brick that we got for 40 years of Return of the Jedi, it would have been nice to have got one for Phantom Menace, but 
Perhaps Lego don't want to make a habit and are only doing it for the original trilogy sets because, I mean, it's only been a few years, but we've not got many sequel sets. So I don't know if all the trilogies are going to be given that special treatment. But then again, in another 30 plus years, the sequel trilogy will be just as loved as any of the others. But it is a decent set, £70. Again, I'd probably recommend waiting for a sale because it's definitely going to be cheaper later this year. But we do have two alien themed sets. Well, technically, there's four space themes, but we'll cover the aliens first. The first one include what my fiance calls cactus aliens because they do look like cactuses. I mean, they've got these arms coming out and they've got the little spikes and the red plants you'll find on some cactuses but they do use two of the domes that we find in Lego City, and I think they're even in Lego Friends sets. In this sort of space subcategory, and this looks just like a booster pack, so perhaps this is a way to get a few more aliens. You do get a minifigure, and it is a white spaceman, so if you didn't pick up Benny's little battle pack when Lego Movie 2 was coming out, because that was quite a while ago now, and unlike me, don't have a white spaceman in your collection, you can definitely pick this up and probably get a classic Lego head for quite cheap, because they've used it in so many sets. And the head for this minifigure is actually using the head from the Build a Minifigure last Christmas, and as far as I'm aware, it's not in any of the other city sets. It's the first time I've seen it at least. And it does work for an alien booster pack. I guess you just get in the bonus space minifigure. But if you don't want to get the minifigure and just want to build up some aliens and perhaps have a nice habitat for them to all be at, there is this other set for the same price. You're only getting three of the aliens. You're getting a bigger alien and you're actually getting the leaf, which sort of act as the legs or the little tentacles of the Lego City alien. And of course, I'm sure you can combine these green pieces, give an alien two eyes and build a bigger alien using them. So I think this might have been worth building as a creator three in one and just having different builds for the aliens. But Lego are going to encourage you to build your own anyway. Now, it does come with the same crystals for the Lego City range. And there's also some nice glittery leaf pieces in this set, which again, as far as I'm aware, haven't really shown up in any other sets. So it's going to be a nice set to combine with any of your Space City or Space Friends sets to build a nice home for your aliens, which other than this, you haven't really seen in the new Lego sets. Another Lego City Space set is actually a bundle, nothing new here, but it combines two of the sets from earlier this year with a poly bag. I've got the poly bag, they are really nice builds, and if you haven't picked them up already, it might be worth buying the three in one, especially because I assume it's a cheaper price. I mean, I'll whack up somewhere on screen the price of buying them all separately, and you can see for yourself how much you're saving. And of course, we have the Series 26 Space CMF. I have already got 11 of them. I got these early, but I've refrained from opening them because I'm still missing one. Hopefully, when I go out May 4th to pick up a few Star Wars goodies, I'll find the last minifigure that I need, and we can review them in a video later on. So I appreciate your patience waiting for the CMF review, but I just feel like there's no point doing two videos and spacing them out. I might as well just wait till I've got them all. If you do want to see a review on that, I'm sure many other people have already covered it. But the final set we're looking at in today's video is actually from Inside Out 2, which if you aren't aware, is a sequel to Inside Out that is releasing... When is it releasing? That is releasing June 14th later this year, and I guess they couldn't wait till June to put out this set, but this looks like a set based on the teaser because we're only seeing joy and one of the new emotions, anxiety, which hopefully later on June, maybe even July or later, we get another set with all the other emotions. They are mini dolls, not mini figures. I think this works a lot better for the style of the emotions. And we also get two of these construction workers. I'm pretty sure this blue head actually had a body in the fault trailer, but perhaps that's something that they weren't given or an image of it perhaps later on in the movie. But they're dot styled, they're cubes. There's a few of the emotions around the side. I don't recognize all of them. So perhaps there's a few other emotions resembled here. And if you're a fan of Disney and want somewhere to store a few of your spare pieces, perhaps, this might be a decent set to pick up, but again, I'm sure it'll be much cheaper on Amazon later this year. Having edited the first video, or rather the second take of the video that you've just watched, I realized there was a Star Wars set missing from my list. 
And that is the Droider Cut. I double checked, it's not actually on the new LEGO releases page. So that is just something that's been missed out on LEGO.com, which isn't great going up to May, but accidents happen, so we'll forgive LEGO for this. But personally, I'm not too big a fan on the Droider Cut, specifically actually because Star Wars Black Series, the Hasbro minifigure line, have also recently launched a Droider Cut and I think that looks so, so good. Of course, it's very, very different to the Lego one, but it's about half the price and you're definitely getting a bit more detail with it. And it's just drawn my eye better than this. And also, when we're looking at the little Droidica minifigure, it's not even like the first Droidica that Lego ever made. That would have been amazing to include in this set, especially as a little throwback. It's got the 25 year plaque. It would have been amazing to go with this set. But this one just doesn't look right at all. You don't get a closer up image. It does roll into a ball, which is pretty cool. But even then, I've seen people who have been gifted the set early from Lego try and actually roll it across their desk. And it doesn't always go too well. So I don't think I'll be picking this up. It doesn't look as appetizing as even the Imperial Probe Droid looked really cool. And I definitely think... They should have put this on a shelf and perhaps tried it again towards the end of the year. It just looks a bit too rushed, like they've tried to get it out for May. So hopefully this isn't the case and hopefully there are people that pick this up because I'm really liking the Droid series. You can probably see just behind me we've got BD-1 in the background and that is a very high quality build, very detailed. And this one just doesn't look that way. So that has been all the sets coming out today. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you did enjoy it, do drop a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content coming your way. Now over on Instagram, I will do a ranking of these sets best till worst. So definitely head over if you are on the platform. Master Moldy is my username across pretty much everywhere. So it shouldn't be too hard to find me. And that is all for this video. May the bricks be with you always.